Welcome back, my friends. So today in television had their Amico special event where they shared a lot of new information, a lot of new footage. I found it a pretty cool little presentation for sure. And today I wanted to discuss it a little bit because my previous video on the Amico was about me canceling my Founders Edition pre-order. Controversial topic, I guess, right? I thought it was a very level-headed discussion, but you know, level of comprehension can differ between people. Some people didn't understand it. Some people changed it into something else. I wasn't bashing the company and I wasn't all in on the company. You know, it just kind of right there. I need to see more. And now that we have seen more, has my opinion, my thoughts changed on this? So the first thing that they discussed, which kind of came as no shock to me, was that the Amico has been delayed. Originally, it was supposed to come out October 10th of this year. But with the current global situation going on out there, everything's been affected. I mean, that's why it comes as no shock. And also, this date was planned well prior to any of this craziness going on out there. And it does seem like they really push to try to make that happen, but it's just not going to happen. So the new tentative release date is April 15th, 2021. So some months after the original release date, but not crazy. It's not like an extra year or anything. It is a handful of months. I know some people who are really looking forward to this will be disappointed, but I think most of us here are adults and we can understand the situation, right? Like no reason to throw a fit because something was delayed during 2020. It's just the norm right now, right? I mean, how many movies have been delayed? The new Ghostbusters was supposed to come out. The SpongeBob movie. Like so many things have been pushed into next year. So no shock there. They also stated that the Founders Edition pre-orders, Tommy Tallarico said that they're going to try to get those out a little earlier than that date. So they're going to try to get them out to those Founders Edition pre-orders uh, April 3rd. 2021. So uh, almost a couple weeks earlier than the retail editions, right? Uh, we'll have to see how that goes down. Um, they, I don't think he said anything about the VIP pre-orders in on that. So maybe those will be around the same time. Not sure. But either way, it's around a two, less than a two week difference between the editions there or, you know, pre-orders, right? Now they did show a lot of footage and that was one of the biggest things for me originally was like, yeah, a lot of the games that I've seen so far didn't really tickle the taint for me. It's just the way it is. And some people are like, you blasphemer, you jerk off, you're, you're, you're mean, you're a meanie. Like, give me a break, dude. If you're hardcore Nintendo, hardcore Xbox or PlayStation, you're not going to like every damn thing you see out there, right? It's just the way it is, bro. It's just the way it is. Should be no different with the Amico as well. If you're hardcore Amico... There's going to be games that come out for it that you love and then some that you're just like, meh. And if you say otherwise, I don't know what the hell, right? Because it's just you can't please everyone with every single release. It's just the way it is. But they did show a lot of new footage. And some of this, my opinion, has still stayed the same. But then it has changed a little bit as well. That's just the way it goes. So they did show some footage of Astro Smash and... It looks pretty cool. I mean, none of these games are really graphically crazy, but really that's beside the point. Other than one game, I was like, wow, like that that does, well, a couple games. I thought, man, that looks really slick. Most of the games I saw looked slick in, in their own way, but the biggest thing is gameplay. Are you having fun? I'm a retro gamer. I mean, I do play my PS4, my Switch and stuff like that. I love current gen and I love old school games as well. It has nothing to do with graphics for me unless it just like isn't fitting for what the game is, right? So not really blasting the graphics on anything here. They they work for the most part, in my opinion. They look good as far as that retro new style goes. So Astro Smash looked pretty cool in my opinion. It, it, it you know, kind of Galaga-esque, uh, you know, Space Invaders-esque little shooter. I thought it looked pretty cool. Is it a system seller? No. But they did show some, uh, in my opinion, could be system sellers, right? Next thing they showed was uh, Cornhole. I'm not going to talk about every game. Cornhole, right? Cornholio. <laughs> um, I know this game. Everybody knows this game. Throw a little beanbag into the hole. It's a pretty damn popular game. Like, you know, never really realized it. But it's pretty popular. It's going to be a built-in game on this. To me, I don't care. Looks like it'd be cool. I did see some footage, some girls, like, you know, 
almost like wee bowling, like throwing the little bean bags in there. It might be cool for a bit. I don't know. Like, you know, family gaming. That's what this thing's about, right? Not just family gaming. A lot of this stuff does look like you'll have fun playing it by yourself. That one, not so interested. Next game that they talked about and showed uh, briefly was Breakout. Like a rhythm, music style version of Breakout. And I thought that looked really good in my opinion. Is it basic? Is the, the graphics very simple? Yes, but it does have that flair to it. And I thought the game looks like something I would enjoy. I love Breakout. So seeing that game in action, it, it, it looks like something that would be appealing to me. Definitely a game I would play. Next thing they showed was the exclusive version of Missile Command uh, for Intellivision Amico. Has co-op versus single player modes. Look pretty slick. I mean, can't really say too much about it. It's Missile Command, but for the Amico. A lot of people are looking forward to it, that's for sure. Next game that I saw them mention briefly, which I'm, I'm not really 100% on what this game is, but Finnegan Fox, I believe is what it was called. And the graphics they showed, you know, very nice 2D art style. You know, the animation looked really smooth, but like the fox was just in the middle of the screen and the the backgrounds were changing, like different weather, different um, seasons. You know, I'm not sure what that game was about. The graphics look cool. Okay, not really that appealing to me. I got to know more. I'm not really sure what that game is. Another thing that they talked about very quickly, and I think part of this delay is helping with this situation is lining up more partners for, you know, you know, retail partners anyway. So they stated it will be available at GameStop. It's already up on GameStop. They have that Galaxy Purple Edition that's exclusive to them. I think that one looks pretty cool. It would have been nice if the uh, center was uh, black. I think that would have worked. I don't know. Now I'm thinking about it because I'm looking at the picture. If it was black in the middle and then had that purple, that might work. The silver, I, I don't know. It's an exclusive version of GameStop. Includes $25 Amico game card. They also have the Graphite Black and the Glacier White for pre-order at GameStop. And then there's going to be other exclusive limited edition colors, and they're going to be selling on Walmart.com and Amazon. So keep an eye out for that if they're not already available for pre-order. Now, they also showed another game that, I, I mean, it was kind of hyped up, like Rocket League slash this slash that. Space Strike looked very simple. Not really 100%. I saw like the little ships or whatever they were grabbing some asteroids, smashing them into people or other ships. I'm not really sure the objective on this game, so can't really say anything. Didn't really, didn't really, didn't really tickle it for me. You know what I'm saying? So there was that. Next one they showed some new footage of was Nitro Derby, a little like RC four-player game where you're racing, kind of, you know, reminiscent of those older games on the the NES that I, you know, my brain went foggy right now. But you guys will know what I'm talking about. A little RC cars driving around. Why can't I think of the name? Man, I knocked upside the head a couple times, but not, not really like the graphics, you know, we era, you know, with that, which like I said earlier, the graphics don't really mean everything. It's the gameplay, but I just seeing the footage of all the tracks and I know there's a lot of variety here. Just, mm, I don't, I don't know. Like the tracks aren't really popping out at me. Like I would hope it would be like, there'd be some crazy fantasy type tracks, really mix it up, you know, instead of just having the basic looking backgrounds, a little forest area, desert area, that kind of thing. Looks fairly generic to me, if I'm to be honest. Does it look like it'd be fun? Sure. Does look like it'd be fun, but it's kind of bland at the same time. Have to play it to have more of an opinion, right? The next one that I thought looked really good, but it's a game that's been out there, is Rigid Force Redux. Yeah, the game's already available everywhere else, but this is an enhanced version. I've never played this game, so the first time I'm actually seeing it is the Amico version here. And man, does that, it looks cool to me. It, you know, you got a little R-type Gradius action going. It, it looks slick. It's a game I definitely would play. I'm really into those horizontal shooters, vertical shooters, that kind of thing. And this game really, you know, it, it, it hit the spot. It hit that spot for me, you know what I'm saying? Next one was Moon Patrol which they had a nice little segment of that talking about it with the original creator, the producer of the game. And it looks cool. I mean, I know you could play the first stage on like mobile right now and yeah, fine. You know, some of these games do look like they could be mobile games and you know, a lot of them could be, 
but they're all supposed to be exclusive versions with, you know, special features for the Amico. And this game, mind you, I've played Moon Patrol, the original release from back in the 80s, and it's a fun game. This looks no different, just, you know, a little, a little modernized with some extra stuff going on. Definitely looks like a little time waster, not too bad. So that, that Moon Patrol footage was definitely nice. There was a lot of stuff that they talked about and showed, but the biggest thing was way at the end, and that was Earthworm Jim. You know, taking little jabs during their presentation, little match three uh, mini game action, which, you know, that's what the rumors were for a minute there, is that this thing is gonna be mini game heaven. It's just gonna be a mini game type game. And that's boo-boo to fool if that was true, but it seems like they put that to rest. But my opinion, my thought, and I mentioned this before, was man, if they went in the direction of like Rayman Legends, if you've never played Rayman Legends, it's available on every damn system ever. The game is beautiful, the graphics, the animation, and it has, you know, its own story, you know, gameplay, levels and all that stuff, but then it incorporates a lot of minigame stuff. I thought with that minigame talk that, man, maybe they'll go in that direction of Rayman Legends, and that would be kind of dope if it was done right. If it was just a collection of minigames, a lot of people would probably dismiss it, but if it was an actual new Earthworm Jim game, that incorporated that style of like Rayman Legends, I think that would be legit. And what they showed at the end here, or pretty much at the end before their Q&A was just a little teaser, like a little exclusive teaser of the actual game. And I think it's beautifully animated. It really, it really struck me with the direction I was hoping they would go. Sure, we don't know anything else. Is it going in that direction of Rayman Legends where they're there is some extra stuff like, you know, in Rayman Legends, you can play like, like I'm, in many games, I don't mean like, oh, like what he was saying, like match three or, you know, match two and, you know, weird little things like that. Like if you've played Rayman Legends, you know what I mean? Like there's just so much variety there and it's still yet to be seen if they, if they're going in that direction. But with this art style, the animation, how everything was fluid, it was just like the intro scene and then walking off to where probably the first stage would start and that's where it ended. You know, just a little a little tease, just tickling that taint a little bit, you know, twisting those nipples lightly, though. Light, unless you're into the, the harder stuff, you know what I mean? But, yeah, that piqued my interest. We don't know a release date on that, uh, but it does look promising. I have to say that. Earthworm Jim, dare I say it, could be a system seller for the Amico. Now, that, that could be a big thing. A lot of people have nostalgia for Earthworm Jim. I'm not the biggest Earthworm Jim fan out there. I've played them, of course. And this does look my style. I, I like what they're doing. Still too early to form a real opinion. Like you can just base your opinions off of what's been presented so far, but can't really say, oh, the game's shit or the game's great. We don't know, but it looks promising. That's what my opinion is. Now, has my overall thought changed on this? No, not exactly. I still need to see more. They've got plenty of time to share information. It looks like that's what they're planning on doing. The team seems very passionate. There's a lot of companies working on this thing, a lot of people involved. And there's still gonna be people out there who just aimlessly bash in television, Tommy Tallarico, the Amico, uh, just you know for clicks and views and that kind of thing. Me, I'm just real, I'm honest. It, it, it looks like a promising little device. They've shown a lot more than other companies out there, right? <laughs> the Atari uh, fucking VCS. I mean, so if I were to put my money on anything as far as a bet goes, it would be the Amico for sure. Now, they've they've not hyped this up as like something that's going to compete with every other gaming device out there. They're doing the Nintendo thing. Like, hey, we're just, we're us. We don't give a shit about what you guys are doing. We're going to be doing what we do. We're not worried about it. And that's, that's fine. Everything is going to be kid friendly, family friendly. But when you really look at it, and I look at it, and I know some people are weird, like, I had a comment on on uh, one of my posts a while, not too long ago, when I was talking about playing Mario Maker on a stream. One of my one of my more successful streams on an off day where I don't normally get views on a stream, and I had somebody say, "Play more mature games. Forget this." What the hell does that mean? Super Mario is awesome. Most of the games that I play retro wise would qualify as games that would be able to be on the Amico as they are family friendly, they're E for everybody, that type of thing. And it's a blast, man. There's just so many awesome retro games that fit 
that criteria that it just, it's almost embarrassing when people are like, this is going to fail because of this. I don't think that's the case. It would fail because they don't support it after it comes out. That's how it would fail. Is it going to get a huge user base? Who knows? I mean, it's not going to get the numbers of like a Switch or a PlayStation 4. You know, it could get a nice little share of the gamer market out there. And if you watch this special event, I think that at, at some point, because I, I was just recording footage watching it, I, it seemed like they had a few thousand people watching this stream and they have less than 10,000 subscribers. So the hype is real for a lot of people there. And it's definitely something to keep an eye on. I hope the best for these guys. And just to lay it straight out there, my Founders Edition that I canceled my pre-order, which was almost like a test to see, like, can you cancel your pre-order? Will they be just up front and just handle it? And they did. They didn't know who it was. Like, I'm nobody. I just emailed some person and was like, can you cancel this shit? Like, I changed my mind. Oh, yeah, no problem. Like, not even like, hey, why or anything like that. It was just like, sure, no problem. Like, you know, we hate to see that you you're, you don't want to keep the pre-order, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and submit the refund. You'll get it in so many days. And that's what happened. End of discussion, right? Well, now I haven't talked about this, but once those VIP pre-orders came in, my situation changed a little bit. A little bit of money came my way. $100, fuck it. Let me take the risk. I put $100 down on a VIP edition. I can't even remember when it was. When, when did I put that pre-order down? Uh, order confirmation back in March. So like right after I canceled my founder's edition. Am I a hypocrite? I don't give a fuck if you think I'm a hypocrite or not. I'm still not 100% sold on this system, but my situation at that time had changed and it was like $100. I can whoop, put it to the side, get this thing and form a valid opinion of it when I actually get to play it. So far, I've been impressed with some things. So far, some things just aren't, you know, aren't really massaging the balls the way I would hope, and that's fine. But there's a, still a lot of cool stuff, a lot of potential. So I'm looking forward to checking this thing out, getting that VIP edition in. Uh, you know, a lot of people, oh, you didn't like the wood grain. Yeah, I don't like the wood grain. I jumped on it, the Founders Edition at first, and then it was like, oh, man, one of my train thoughts was like, if I ever get one, I don't want the wood grain. I just don't like the way it looks. Some people love it. Some people don't. And that's fine. We can all have differing opinions. If you can't understand that, then just don't watch my channel. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But yes, I do have a pre-order in. I will be playing this thing. I will be giving my honest opinion of it once I get to play it. And opinions change over time as well. If the launch sucks, which I don't know, it could. Like, there could be just nothing to play. A lot of consoles, like... They launch and the game library is not that great, but it looks like they're going to have some things that can be fun to play for a bit. We'll have to wait and see. But, you know, over time, like the Xbox 360, when it first came out, I was blown away. And then a while after that, I was like, this is boo-boo to full. Like, there's nothing to play on this thing. And then, like, Gears of War came out and it was like, oh, my God. Like, why did I give my friend my Xbox 360? I want it back. Like, okay, fuck it. I'll just go buy a new one. So, you know... Your, your, your mood, your, your, everything can change over time. But there you go. My thoughts, awesome presentation. i um, glad that they got the information out there early on with the delay. So let me know what you guys think. With that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Big ass thumb butt. Look at them cheeks. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bye-bye and boom.